Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. Well, here it is, preview night, San Diego Comic Con 2016, Wednesday, the 20th of July, and people at the convention are uploading pictures and talking to people at Hasbro about the upcoming figures and figures that are there on display. Of course we won't see a lot of new stuff until Friday night or Friday so um, keep checking back. I don't know that I'll do a video every day but uh, definitely when there's uh, new information to post I will I will let you guys know. So the Marvel Legends Raft box set that's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Hasbro finally released the uh, official images for that about a, a week or so ago, and um, yeah, the you know we've been talking about it quite a bit, and the figures look pretty good. The um, paint apps are different on the Abomination compared to the one that's coming out in the Build a Figure wave. Uh, the one from the Build-A-Figure Wave has the light green on the chest and has a slightly different face. Um, people who have seen the Abomination in person at the con uh, from the box set are saying that it looks uh, much better than the one that's uh, coming from the Build-A-Figure Wave. So, um, yeah, if you're you know only interested in getting the BAF, um, and you want the box set, you might want to just uh, hold off and get the box set. Some friends of mine who are at the convention now were taking pictures of the display cases. Uh, some of these are from video that was shot and some of them are, are still photos so uh, I apologize for the the quality. But they did show a the new Doctor Strange um, it just looks like the Doctor Strange from the previous wave last year with uh, different uh, effects for his hands and a brand new cape. Um, it is possible that they might show a uh, classic colored Doctor Strange with that new cape, um, but right now they're just showing the um, previously released Doctor Strange. So. Um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see if uh, we get a, a repaint on that body mold. Uh, also, the Brother Voodoo um, looks like the only thing really different on him is the cape. Don't know, you know, they like to do stuff very piecemeal. Uh, Hasbro likes to show stuff just a little bit at a time, so we might be getting a different um, version of uh, Brother Voodoo. I think his uh, his head and or hair look different. Um, in the comics, uh, so we might get a, a different head for that same body. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, again, they showed a lot of the stuff that we already saw back at Toy Fair last year. The um, uh, Dormammu and Iron Fist and the uh, Nico from the Runaways um, they had there in the display case. So. Um, Still not seeing a lot of the, the wave. Um, hopefully we'll see more as the week uh, progresses. Very quickly I wanted to show some of the uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch um, which are now rebranded as uh, Marvel Legends from used to be called uh, Marvel Universe figures. I don't collect that scale typically but I uh, just wanted to quickly mention that they showed a uh, Wolverine, the all-new Wolverine, which is the female Laura X-23 grown-up version, and um, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell how good it's going to look, but um, yeah, the articulation is definitely suffering on these um, uh, newer three and three-quarter inch figures. Uh, they also showed Lady Deadpool, and um, I can't remember what that British version of Spider-Man is. Also, uh, Moon Knight, and uh, I believe that's Maestro Hulk, or um, what is that, uh, uh, King Hulk? I can't remember which which version of Hulk that is, but um, yeah, hopefully some people will be excited about those. 
Um, and for me, I was uh, kind of pleased to see a Marvel Universe um, three and three quarter inch Legends version of Guardians of the Galaxy. These are from the Volume Two versions, which um, you know a lot of people are going to be excited about. But what's weird is uh, <laughs> you know we're not getting a classic Gamora. You know we just got that um, spacesuit Gamora, which I was happy to get. But the Hasbro just cannot seem to get uh, a cohes cohesive Guardians team put together. Uh, Gamora was in the spacesuit armor in Volume 3, not in Volume 2, so this doesn't work. We still need a classic um, Gamora uh, in that scale. So keep grinding, Hasbro. Next, we're going up to a larger scale, Marvel Select. They had the uh, Destroyer in the display case, and um, my friend who uh, shot this video was saying it looks so much better in person than uh, than what's shown up here uh, on the on the video screen. Um, yeah, uh, obviously it comes with the uh, the Thor. I'm sorry, the Odin head for the Destroyer and. Um, yeah, he was very impressed with uh, with the way the figure and uh, the alternate head looked. So, I'm very excited. I got uh, I got a couple of those on pre-order. So I'm uh, I'm dying for those to come out. I think it's uh, November or December. I think November. I think is when the uh, release date is for that. Another interesting item that showed up in one of the display cases was a blade figure and Dwight made the comment that it is a custom now it could we could speculate that this is actually a prototype in fact some people claim to know that we will be getting a new blade so you know take that with a grain of salt but um, this definitely does look very legitimate um, if it's a custom it's an extremely well done custom and it could be that Dwight just doesn't want to announce that you know we're getting a new blade you know it makes sense that we would be since they never released that blade uh, years ago um, back when they when they showed the Iron Fist and a bunch of other figures that they end up scrapping and redoing which we are very happy now that they did because we don't want that um, blade on that old uh, Nick Fury body that uh, had that horrible trench coat so um, yeah if we uh, end up getting a new blade this could definitely be the prototype for that and um, for my friends that did see it in person it, uh, they thought it looked uh, extremely well done um, especially the uh, the pants uh, look like it was um, you know completely new new sculpt so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that one so some of the exciting news that um, was overheard at the convention was that um, Dwight Stahl was talking to somebody and mentioned that if there was a team that he could put into Marvel Legends form uh, that he would want to see the Reavers, which is a team that is rumored to be in the uh, Wolverine 3 movie that we might see Lady Deathstrike and uh, the Reavers um, in that uh, in that movie they might be the the main villains and uh, that would be very cool if we get I don't even care if they're movie versions but if we get the the Reavers um, and Dwight mentioned there were two characters from the Reavers that he in particular wanted to get um, the most and that was uh, I believe that was uh, Reese and uh, Bonebreaker so um, yeah we might who knows we might actually get to see those if uh, if Dwight gets his way and uh, we know we tend to get a lot of figures that um, that Dwight and uh, Jesse Falcon um, like you know characters that that they like we we tend to get so um, yeah don't 
don't be surprised if we uh, if we end up getting those down the road. Um, pretty cool team. They're uh, mut mutant cyborgs from Australia, so uh, um, that would be pretty awesome to see. And also, um, uh, I got it from a very good source that um, Angela will be coming soon. The you know they talked about she'll probably be coming in uh, 2017, and uh, my speculation is that we'll, she'll probably be in a Asgardian Thor wave um, for uh, the Thor movie that's uh, coming out next year. We're supposed to also be getting a complete 90s X-Men team, blue and gold. So a lot of people will be um, very excited about that. And uh, also Blue Marvel is supposed to be coming in both versions. Um, apparently he's got three different looks. Um, my friend uh, David Walton was speculating that they'll probably just do the... Uh, two modern versions, one where he's wearing the vest and uh, the other version where you know he's unmasked as well um, with the uh, with the cape. So you know that would be an easy thing for them to just include um, either the cape or the vest and uh, you know just have him unmasked. It would be great if we got all three versions where he's um, got the uh, the silver mask. Or slash helmet, um, you know, obviously it wouldn't be 100% comic accurate because that uh, design on his boots and chest is different than his modern costume where he's got uh, black boots and, um, or dark blue boots and um, no, no mask, uh, or the, actually the logo on the front of his uh, costume is uh, totally different, so... We will have to wait and see on that, and um, yeah, keep checking in for the following days of the convention. I'm sure we'll find out more as each day continues. And with that, hopefully you guys like the video, you share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.